this world right now, we need to head in the right direction. Yes. So we can take charge. We go stars for women. Go Gosa, Go and uh, three goes up. One are Willow no, for one the men. Kira. One is Kira for the men who stand beside and behind the women <laughs> who are making these changes. Hey! Hey! Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I am Sassy Funke, and I'm an Nigerian travel and lifestyle vlogger, blogger. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click it now, guys. Click it, click it. The glory of our nation will improve if we utilize the energy we use to oppress women, to uplift, embrace, and help one another grow. Just as it takes many pillars to support a building, and just as thousands of lizards lean up against a wall, we too must come together to build our communities. The time is now. Enough is enough. Step up, stand for, speak out. Accept nothing less. It is time for change. Does this make sense? So yes, that's a chance from the amazing production here were produced by Ifoma Fafunwa. So I was very fortunate enough to be able to go to the opening night here in Cambridge of the production here word, Ninja Woman Talk Through. Yes, this is a play that was directed by Ifoma Fafunwa. What is here word? Here word is it in English is basically listen, like listen. And to give you a sense of what it was about, it was essentially collection of 20 stories of Nigerian female right and this 20 stories were depicted and acted by 10 Nigerian actresses this stories that were shared was essentially to shine light on the issues of the Nigerian female so the issues that prevent the Nigerian female from essentially reaching a potential female from being independent from contributing to society and for truly living her potential so that was essentially what it was about. Um, it was an amazing cast, just a beautiful production. You got to meet the actresses, um, the director, post the play and everything. If you guys want to see the play, I'm going to leave instructions below on sort of where they're showing and information on the play and everything else so you can go catch it. Um, they're going to be here in Cambridge for probably like a week or so more. So this video is essentially for me to share the five key things that I took away from the play that I feel all Nigerian women need to know. Yes and learn to. Number one, we need to admit that this culture of sweeping things under the rug is na na na. It is no, it is not good, it's not going to help our culture, it's not going to help our communities, it's not going to help our women, it's not going to help our children, it is not going to help. Rape is rape. If someone gets raped, it is rape. Let's not try and make it seem as if like it's something that is not a big deal. It is a big deal and we need to treat it as such. Second of all, not speaking up is part of the problem. Like a lot of times in Nigeria, we're like, ah, kilo come here, what's my own business? Eh, ah, ah, that's them over there now. Ah, please, I have, I have my own problems. We are part of the problem when we choose as a society to say, ah, it is not our problem. It is our problem because these are problems that are going to affect generation after generation after generation. And if nobody speaks up, if everyone acts like us, like, ah, when she problem me, it's not my problem. And everybody passes the buck to somebody else. How the hell are we going to change the society? How the hell is our generations to come going to flourish and reach their potential? It's not going to happen without us. So we need to speak up. Number three, and I see this a lot, gossiping. Ah, why do we like gossiping so much? I can gossip, but when we gossip negatively in a group of women about other women, you know, you see that girl wearing a short dress and she oriented, you're like, ah, I share wo, a wo, I share wo, this one, I share wo, basically saying prostitute, prostitute, prostitute. When we degrade women like that, we don't know, but we're degrading ourselves because the men, they see us do what we do. And they're not thinking these women are empowered or they're thinking these women, they're not the them are Shewo Seth, you know? So we need to be careful about the words that we speak and how those manifest into bigger things. As in our words have power, you know, if we use, choose to use them in a negative way, it will affect our society negatively. Number four, women need to support women. I feel we're in a society whereby we all say it, uh, women supporting women, women supporting them. Like, do we really support women? Do we really see a woman about to enter a ditch and we're like, ah, sister, don't go there, you're going to fall. Or do we wait until she has fallen in the ditch and we're like, 
ah, uh, are you okay? Like, we need to support women in every facet of society, whether it's a child growing up that needs counseling, whether it's our friends that are in marriages that are you know, crazy. We need to support them in whichever way we can. And we need to stop seeing women supporting women and we need to get up and actually do it. Yeah. I think finally, number five, one of the things that I learned from the, I took away from the play was that we need to stop with this judgmental voice. When people come to us with their predicaments, with their issues, with what's happened to them, whether they've been raped or they've been treated badly by a guy or a guy beat them or anything, we need to stop automatically our responses, uh-uh, but why were you there? Or like, what were you wearing? Ah, uh -uh, 10 o'clock at night, why weren't you at home? Ha, uh, maybe he didn't mean it. Like, we need to stop having this judgmental voice and give people an environment whereby they can be open to express how they feel and what has happened with them because if we don't do that we will never get to a solution if people don't feel comfortable with sharing what's going on with their lives they will not see it and if they don't see it the issue will never be resolved like, until you live in other people's shoes don't judge like don't even judge because you don't understand you don't know all these things i mentioned if we as a society were able to do this better we're able to hold each other where women are able to support women, able to build women. If we can do this, we will change our society. Like the men will be like, ah, these women have come with their fire. Yes. But if we act as if we are competing against each other, we are judging. I remember there was this recent something on the social media about the toxic, um, taxify guy or whatever. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know the truth. But one thing I know is, huh? we are judgmental and we're not even a judge everybody picks sides and they pick those sides with such firm like positions as if ah no why would you do that if he was going to rape you why would he do this like i don't know the inside out of that story but the truth is we have to understand that everyone is different everyone's experience is different and we need to give people a voice to express so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I want to know, what are your thoughts on the female Nigerian child? What as a society do you feel we Nigerians are doing wrong? And what are we doing right? And what could we do better? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe, give this a thumbs up, and I will see you on my next video.